if you don't have a welder, that's okay. I know you might be fretting that you're going to have to go out and spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a welder to be able to use this course, but the fact is you don't have to do that because there are great places anywhere where you live where you can rent welders. You can rent them by the hour, by the day, even by the week and month. And these are very affordable. Now, of course, in the long run, you're going to want to buy your own machine, especially if this is something you're really interested in and you really have a passion for. But until you know that's the case, you might as well just spend your money and invest on the tools that you're going to need, the hand tools and things like that that are going to progress you, and rent your welder until you can make enough to be able to get your own. Now, places where you can rent welders, Home Depot, some Lowe's, almost every city I have ever been to has some sort of power tool rental place. Now, these tool rental places are very easy to find. In fact, no matter where you live, you'll be able to find one reasonably close to you. And the easiest way to find them is just to Google them. Look them up on the internet and you'll, it'll pull up Home Depots because most Home Depots, the ones that have tool rental, which is most of them, do carry MIG welders and it's usually a, a small Lincoln welder. Now the downside to those is most of the time it's a flux core. They don't have the, the gas gauge hooked up to that or uh, a lot of just professional tool places, you know, places where you can rent bobcats and core drills and pressure washers, that kind of thing. They will definitely have MIG units small enough for you to play with and they'll actually have all the gas hookups and everything. And most of these places actually give you a helmet as well. Now I know the Home Depot places, they don't give you an auto darkening helmet, which we're going to get into in just a second. But most of the other tool rental places will either supply that for you or they will have an option for you to rent that too. Now even though you can rent an auto darkening helmet at most larger tool rental places, it's going to be better for you to try to purchase this first. And I say purchase this before you purchase a welder because your welder is going to be the biggest expense. This is going to be your second largest expense. A good helmet like this is probably going to run about $400, $500. But like I said, you can go to Amazon or places like Harbor Freights or discount tool places and get them anywhere between $75 to $150. Now, those aren't the greatest helmets in the world. I wouldn't be doing any long-term production work with them, but just messing around in the garage or in your shop, and especially for this course where you're just practicing and learning new techniques, perfect helmets to start off with. In fact, uh, when we teach here, and I, I teach people in the shop, new students that come in, we actually have a Harbor Freight helmet that we let them use. Don't, let, don't give them the big expensive stuff yet, just because, you know, don't want them dropping it or breaking it. So.